Tic-tac-toe. Wait a minute. Something about this feels familiar. Psst, over here! Tic-tac-toe. A game as old as time. A game of kings. A game of emperors. A game of... Wait, what's that little turd doing here? Get out of here. Yes, friends. This project is a tic-tac-toe game board. More specifically, an oversized tic-tac-toe game board slash box that I'm making as a gift for my mom. And just like most of my projects, this one is going to be made of wood. The first thing you may have noticed is that I drew out plans for my project. And now I'm setting up my router, which I'm not sure if I've used so far in my videos. And it's not to be confused with a network router, which is what you use to provide internet for your home or business. This router is used to make cuts or different designs in wood. I'm pushing it along a guide that you can see in the background. And this is to provide a quarter inch wide notch that I can use to slot in the bottom piece of the box. Here you can see the completed notch along the board, and now I'm cutting it to size on the table saw. The reason that I cut the notch along almost the entire length of this board is because I wanted to have a nice uniform notch along the entire thing, so that when I cut it into smaller pieces using the chop saw now, that all the pieces would be uniform. And I'm using the chop saw now to cut this piece into smaller pieces which will make up the sides of the box. What you're seeing here is my attempt at cutting notches in these boards for the inserts to slide down into. Now what I'm doing is I put the router in a little router table that I made and I'm trying to slide it across there using my crosscut sled. But as you can see here, it didn't work out so well. I didn't film it, but I actually tried a different method by pushing it across using my miter gauge, which also didn't achieve a very good result. So I went back to the original method that I used for the first slot and I set up an edge guide and slotted it along that. Each of the sideboards is getting two notches cut into it for the inserts. And now I'm just checking the fit of a piece of Luon that I cut, which I thought was the right size, but apparently my measurements were a little bit off. And here's the board cut to the correct measurements. And once again, it wouldn't be a woodworking project unless I did some sanding. That saying is getting old, but yet here we are, sanding. 
Now it's time to glue the box together. And this took a little bit of trial and error, but I finally figured out a method that worked well for me. I mean, nothing special here. I'm just gluing both sides of the joint and then I'm brad nailing them together. I'm not sure that it was completely necessary for me to glue the bottom piece into place, but I figured, what's it gonna hurt? Eh, it's not looking too bad so far. For these inner dividers, it actually took a couple times for me to get the right length because it was a little bit too tight and it was pushing out the sides, but I finally got them to work sanding them up. What I'm doing now is notching these middle dividers so that they'll slide over top of one another. And to do that I'm using my table saw and since I don't have a dado stack yet I'm making notches and then I'm just gonna hog out the middle. I don't know what it is about this footage, but it looks really cool to me, and I actually watched it a couple times during the editing process of this video. Hey, who are you winking at, buddy? Oh, wait, you're just, you're just eyeing up your measurements, sorry. Now it's time to glue these middle dividers into place. And I actually thought about brad nailing these into place also, but once I got them in there, the fit was so tight that it just wasn't necessary. This little concoction is just some wood glue and some really fine sawdust. I just made it into a little putty paste kind of thing and tried to fill in all the seams and cracks and any little imperfections in the box. Now for the game piece blocks, I'm actually using pressure treated 4x4s just because I didn't have any regular pine 4x4 sitting around. And these pressure treated 4x4s are a few years old, so they're pretty dried out. And I think they'll take the stain pretty well. Just because I didn't sand nearly enough before, I had to break it out again. I haven't set it yet, and it's long overdue, but I really have to say thanks to both my dad and my father-in-law for all the tools that you see me using in these videos. Either they have been gifted to me, or given to me, or passed down, or whatever you want to say, but I really haven't had to buy a lot of stuff on my own, and I'm really grateful for that. I'm trying to use the belt sander here to both take the surface off of these blocks, and also to take all the rough edges off. And it does that very effectively. And if you look closely here, you'll notice that I'm putting little dimples on the sides for finger and thumb holds on these blocks because they slipped down into the box and they were really hard to get out. Now I'm just using the router to cut some O's and X's into these blocks. X on one side, O on the other. Now that I've got all of the X's and O's all routed out on all of the nine blocks, I'm using the sander to make them nice and smooth. For both of the X's and O's on these blocks, I'm using 
Tester's enamel model paints. I'm using a flat white for the O's and a flat black for the X's. And for the finish, I'm going to be using this Watco Danish oil. I've used this stuff in my videos before and it does a terrific job. It covers very nicely and I really like it. You may have noticed I'm actually using a darker tone of the Danish oil for these blocks. And here is the finished product. Not too bad. I need to test out this game. But where am I going to get a worthy opponent? Oh, I have an idea. Here we go. Oh, hey there. What's up? You want to play a game? Sure. Darn it! That's game. I mean, seriously, that's, that's three games in a row I beat you. Have you ever even played tic-tac-toe before? Wait. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I take it back. I'm good. No! Bye-bye! Hey. Thanks for watching, and please be sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.